So it's me, your little boy, Kisamson. I have something unique, special for us choosing ones. You know, dear, will confess. Let me tell you, choosings. People may plot evil against you now. They may do all kinds of things against you. Because of jealousy nor envy, they have towards you. But listen to me, in time to come, you will start to see them. They may not confess the way it will be easy for you to understand. But trust me, sometimes by the works of people, you will understand what they are saying. Because sometimes when people are acting through their behavior, their attitudes, you know, character, you will understand what they are up to. So trust me, some people will confess. And if you are able to, you know, to slow down, you will understand what they means. Some people, will, they have no choice. Those ones who have make you feel like you will succeed. Those ones who have gone far to make sure they plot evil against you. Those ones who have gone far to make sure they make they see you not succeed. Those ones who have done the worst to make sure you pass through the worst. Those ones who have plot evil, hoping for it to destroy you. Trust me, they will absolutely confess. The Bible says, the, the way that see it what good leadeth to destruction. Those things that people do, they say, ah, we are doing it. You know, we are doing it. We feel good in doing this. We feel nice in doing this. We feel amazing. We are so content of doing this. Trust me, in a due season, they will surely confess to you. They will surely ap uh, uh, apologize for the wrong things or for the deed that they have done. You get what I'm saying? So, they have no choice than to confess. Listen to me. Many people will confess why they plot evil against you. Many people will confess why they set you up. Many people will confess why they did you wrong. Many people will confess all the things that they have done behind the scene, unknown to you. If you, if you are able to do it, to hold on, you will be able to accurately know them. You know, when the Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. God is not lying. God is not a liar. So in a due season, you will come to figure out whom they are. Many people will start to tell you, ah, we believe in you. They don't believe in you. They are just confessing to you that they never expect you to be successful. In a due season, many people will start to tell you, ah, we know you will be in this, but they, they never pray for you to be in that situation, in that position. And majority of them are even not wishing you to remain there. Yes, that is what you need to understand. That is accurately what you need to understand. That is why uh, my dad used to tell me, Samson, when God start to build you, when God start to lay foundation through you, when God, when God start to water your life, know the kind of grasses you allow to grow. <laughs> because not all grasses are what are, are needed in the farm. They may be good for what? For goat, for cow, for different types of animals in order for them to sustain and succeed. But there are some crops, there are some, you know, there are some crops that are not needed to be mixed with other crops. You know, in this our farm place where we are weeding now, we have a lot of vegetables. If you have watched one of my videos where I was cutting some vegetables, there are a lot of vegetables here, but my master will not allow us to leave them. Why? Because they are not permitted to stay. So you have to understand that when people tell you, ah, we believe, you know, I have been thinking about this. Think within yourself, when the storm was there, were they there? That is to tell you that there are people who will celebrate you when things become better. And they will never celebrate you when things are not. They will never be there when things are not because they are waiting for the benefit that they will get in doing so. <laughs> so remain blessed.